Okay, here you can see that you've got the outline of your cross section. So we've got this uh, y axis here, which is labeled distance from survey line to ground, and this being the survey line, which is put on one side of the river to the other side, and then from this survey line at 40 centimeter intervals, we're measuring the depth from the survey line down to the ground, as in the, the river bank or the side of the river. Okay, so We've got it in 40 centimetre intervals coming across here, so one square for 40 centimetres. We need the same scale um, coming down from a survey line. So this would be naught, this would be 0 0.4, this would be 0 0.8, and this would be 1.2. And that means that we've got the same scale on both sides. We have, uh, avoid vertical exaggeration. So at naught, we've got a depth of 0.25. So if that's going to be 0 0.2, it's going to be a little bit further down from there. I'm going to put my X there. Going across to 0 0.4, we're 0 0.68. So this is going to be around here. Okay, then we've got the first points of our cross section. You can use a ruler to make it even neater. Um, at 0 0.8, we go down just a tiny bit. And we're building up our cross section over time. At 1.2 meters across, we're at 65. So that's gone up a little bit. Um, so we're going to put that there, and we're building our cross section across the river. Okay, um, and when you've completed it, good practice. Obviously, you need a title at the top. It's a bit of a title at the top saying cross section, and then you can actually colour in um, the area of the river, perhaps in blue to show kind of where the river is, maybe the brown to show the riverbed.